So I've just got back from the bike shop and this is the uh, conversion I'm doing for the new electric bike using the CYC motor that I've got down there. It's going to be on a Salsa Via 2 frame that I've had sitting around for a while. I bought it uh, mainly for doing gravel riding in Alberta um, and pretty much looking to do more of the same here, fire roads, gravel roads, um, dirt roads. Um, but I'm going to use the CYC motor on it, so I've converted it slightly and I've had the, the drop bars removed. Um, I've put on some uh, XT brakes at the front, upgraded those, so I've got the, uh, the 203 uh, rotor on the front, um, 180 in the back. Uh, we've also got uh, suspension forks now instead of the original rigid forks. Um, we've still got the 10-speed, uh, the uh, but we changed it to... Uh, to this kind of shifter rather than the, the bar end shifters. Um, down here the bottom bracket has been stripped out uh, is ready for the uh, for the one from CYC here. Um, at the back it's a 10 speed um, Tram X9 um, put on some different tyres. The widest I heard you could get were these um, 29 2 inch tyres. Um, pretty tight clearance but I wanted the width uh, I went with a 2.25 inch on the front because you can get away with a bit wider with the fork. Um, yeah, one thing I've noticed um, so far is I think I'm going to have to figure out something, uh, some sort of separation piece in here because um, I'm going to mount it the stock way to start with and then fiddle about with it. So with this motor swinging up here, it's going to pinch this cable a little bit. It doesn't look too bad. Maybe you can just put a guide to kind of move it to the side a little bit and see if that works rather than uh, a piece for the motor. Um, it might even be I can just uh, screw something in and use this mount uh, to give a bit of separation. But that shouldn't take too long to sort out. So yeah, over the, uh, over the next weekend I'm going to get the CYC motor installed as it is stock and see what it can do.